you're thinking about buying a house and it's a for sale by owner, so the person selling the house does not have a realtor and they don't want you to have a realtor, that could be like playing the lottery and here's why. One of the most common reasons that sellers don't want realtors involved is because they want to save money by not having to pay that commission fee. So if the transaction goes through smoothly and no commission fee is paid, then that's like winning the lottery. But the risk is that the transaction does not go smoothly, which is likely if the buyer and the seller are not experienced in purchasing or selling real estate. An example, a client uh, was buying a house, it was for sale by owner, the purchase price was $300,000, and they were assuming that the realtor commission fee between the two realtors, 3% on each side, would have been $18,000. So they decided to split that $18,000 uh, between them instead of pay a realtor, and they would try and figure out how to buy and sell this piece of real estate on their own. So because they're not experienced, the buyer and the seller are not experienced in purchasing real estate, they they get on Google and they get a real estate purchase agreement template, which basically had the bare elements of a contract. So the date, the signatures, the purchase price, the closing date, uh, and how much the deposit was. Bare bones real estate purchase agreement contracts that are executed like this are not necessarily going to guarantee protection of the buyer and the seller. Here's what happens. The purchase price of $300,000, the deposit from the buyer was $2,500 and the closing date was in 30 days from the date that the contract was signed. About two weeks into the process, the appraisal was ordered and paid for, which was about $700. The home inspection was completed, which was about $400. And the deposit of $2,500 was made in, in good faith. At this point, the buyer had spent $3,500 out of pocket, only to find out a week later that uh, getting the report back on the inspection and the appraisal that the home is on a private road. The home also has a well and the appraisal report came back with required repairs that had to be done. Because the property is on a private road, a private road agreement is required by the lender in this scenario to get the loan approved, but there is no private road agreement. Because there's a well on the property, the well water is required to be tested which wasn't done and needed to be, he got the, the well water tested and it failed. The appraisal uh, report came back with repairs and the seller was not willing to fix those repairs. Because the seller was not willing to pay to make any of the repairs, the seller and the buyer would not come to an agreement and the loan couldn't get approved until all of those repairs were made the buyer decided not to purchase and wanted his earnest money back. Well, because of that bare bones contract, the seller got to keep that money for two reasons. One, there were no stipulations on when or how to give that money back. And two, the buyer gave that check, that earnest money deposit directly to the seller. And if there was a realtor involved, all of these things could have been mitigated or prevented from the very beginning and would have saved that buyer $3,500 to $4,000 in cash. So the buyer just spent almost $4,000 in an effort to save almost $9,000. So he did not win the lottery. In a scenario where the seller does have a for sale by owner and they don't want realtors, if you are the buyer, I do recommend getting a buyer's agent to represent you. Yes, it's likely gonna be a 3% commission, it's gonna be worth it. Go back to the seller and just offer 3% more in addition to whatever it is that they're asking for the home. That way, you know you're gonna be covered.